Again, President Biden is now endorsing his Vice President Kamala Harris for the Democratic nomination. I spoke with a veteran political journalist who's been following Harris's career since she first ran for district attorney in San Francisco. Here's what he had to say about Harris's prospects as president. A political announcement unlike any of its kind. President Biden shared he's dropping out of the 2024 presidential race with about 100 days until the election. I think it's going to re-energize the race, not just for Democrats, but instead of talking about two old men, we've got a very different race now. Veteran political reporter Hank Plant has followed Harris's career for almost two decades, since her early days in San Francisco. I watched her win the district attorney's race, state attorney general race, Senate, and now, of course, vice president. People are wondering if she's going to be that candidate that can ultimately beat Trump. I don't think there's any question that she would do better against Trump than Biden. I mean, it was going downhill for President Biden as far as the polls and his own performance. Kamala's very sharp. She's been a prosecutor. If they do a second debate, she would shred Trump. Democratic leaders, including the Clintons and the Congressional Black Caucus, endorsing Harris, while other party leaders, including former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, praised Biden's decision to step down, but left out any mention of Harris. With Barack Obama saying in the statement, quote, I have extraordinary confidence that the leaders of our party will be able to create a process from which an outstanding nominee emerges, end quote. I think this will take the wind out of any other possible candidates. I think the fact that President Biden has endorsed her, it's a signal to his delegates, please go with her. Plant believes this nomination could even benefit the Coachella Valley. She was at 849 Restaurant when she was in the Senate. They took a picture of her there. She knows the Valley. She knows some of our issues. Meanwhile, the other side of the aisle is already reacting to Harris's likely nomination. They do not want her to run against a strong Democrat like Kamala Harris. As for what's next, should Harris come out on top as the Democratic nominee, she'll then have to select her vice president pick. We are waiting to see if delegates will finalize their pick for a presidential nominee ahead of the Democratic National Convention that's scheduled to start on August 19th in Chicago.